Hi everyone, I'm Filsi and welcome to a video where a wheel will decide a couple of towny couples. I did this once before already, so I'm gonna link that video in the description, definitely check it out. And this is one of the results, she's absolutely stunning. But now let's make some new ones and see who's gonna be having a baby out of these townies. I put a couple of them on a wheel and let's see who our first couple is gonna be. Our first sim for today is going to be, it is, ooh, I was really hoping for this one. Elfaba. And who is Elfaba going to have a baby with? I mean, whoever we get is going to be quite interesting with the first sim already. So, oh, oh my gosh, it's just you. Looks like Elfaba doesn't really want to be paired up with anyone, but I did just remove her. So let's try again. So let's see who the second sim is going to be. <gasps> Oh my god, Gidri! This is gonna be one paranormal baby. You already know that this one's gonna be a girl. It will be a lot more fun. So let's maybe just randomize three times. So one, two, and three. Oh my god, no, this one isn't a spellcaster. Well, that's a bit disappointing, isn't it? But okay, let's turn you around, see what we're working with. And I mean, her face is like real cute. She actually has like the, the best of both worlds, I think, because she does have Elphaba's fun skin tone. Unfortunately, not the spellcaster bit but she does have also Ghidri's actually no those are Elphaba's eyes but she does have Ghidri's like more soft features and his hair color well I'm gonna be giving her a little CC makeover so let's give you some nicer eyes like that maybe and just like a bit of nicer eyebrows I'm thinking the vibe for this one is gonna be like a well I guess like a magical ghost it kind of makes sense doesn't it so we're kind of going for something a bit more I guess ethereal ish I don't really know how much I'll be able to to do because I don't really have that much CC that's like really fitting for this but I'll do my best so I'll just throw on some skin details oh wow she looks real pretty with this and let's give you some beautiful lashes okay maybe these are a bit big maybe maybe something like that I mean they're quite huge still I'm just gonna be giving her like an eyelid overlay because she does have like an eyelid more close to this and the skin added one so I feel like this is a little bit more accurate and I think I kind of want to give her this like grayish overlay overlay which is looking a little odd but it works with her color and it's making her look more you know different just not quite from this world oh and I can give her like a little eyebrow thing I'm doing the same thing that I did in my not so human challenge because my sim had a baby with Ghidri there but I just can't resist it it's too cute so let's move on to the hair no idea what kind of hair I want to go for but she did age up with a relatively short brown hair so I think I will kind of keep it but let's just try to find a style that works better for her both Ghidri and Elphaba are dressed a little bit more mm, I don't really know how to class it more old-timey so I feel like we should kind of go in the same direction with this one. Oh wow this hair actually looks real pretty on her it's a bit longer than I thought but it's kind of nice I think I actually do like a bit longer hair on her so I'm definitely keeping this one let's move on to makeup which I actually don't know what I'll do with but I know I definitely want to give her these like spellcaster markings and maybe let's make them oh I don't really know which color it would be kind of nice to have them be more like pink ish to represent Elphaba a little bit more and we could do kind of similar things with the eyeliner so it's not like very intense it's barely there maybe if I bump up the saturation a little bit so it's just a little bit something extra going on but it's nothing like too distracting well she is human after all so maybe she's just like cosplaying as a spellcaster because she isn't one naturally so yeah I probably shouldn't be going a bit too crazy but she's looking so pretty oh I'm absolutely loving this makeup on her one thing I kind of don't really like as much is is how big her pupils are. I mean, she is born with them, but I want to make them just like a little bit smaller. And now I can definitely move on to dressing her. And I think I'm going to give her like a potentially a long dress, but I feel like we could do a little bit more of a combo top and bottom. But let's just see what the dresses I like, what's offered. As if I don't know, but <laughs> okay, let's, let's just see what I have in my game. Even something like this will be kind of fun, but it's not quite spellcastery enough. You know what? New plan. I think I'll give give her this top and then like a long flowy skirt. I think that that would be looking real nice with like representing the ghosty like flowy white sort of style but also giving her a bit of something extra with the skirt. I just need to find a skirt that's like a little bit more interesting. See this is the perfect shape but I don't really like any of the colors for her which is quite unfortunate. I think that this or this will be kind of the closest to what I was going for but I don't really like them enough. I am drawn to this one. It's a much softer look than I expected 
but I think it's really cute. So if I just give her some like really simple shoes with that, I think that she's looking really adorable and she doesn't have to be all like very magical and stuff because she is human. She can be a little bit of a like softer version of Elphaba, which I think I kind of like. I did change up her makeup to be like a little bit more pink, but now let's give her some really big crystals, I think, or this. This comes with paranormal stuff, which I think would be really good to represent Kidri, but I don't really like it with the outfit. So I feel like we are still leaning into the spellcaster side a little bit more. I ended up changing her hair just to give her that more like flowy ghosty look. I know that it's like a little bit messed up there, but if you don't look too hard, I think it's fine. So maybe give you a name to the Risa. That fits her so nicely. And I can give her this custom occult enthusiast trait. I think that she would definitely have it. So she can get that as a trait as well. I'm kind of thinking erratic because I mean, it's a really odd environment for her, isn't it? And maybe also a bit of a loner because she isn't really that good at interacting with regular people, although she is one. So this is our Theresa Faba combination of Ghidri and El Faba. So it's time for us to spin again and see who the next couple is. So the first sim is going to be... Oh, Morgan! We really can't stay away from occult sims today. Oh my god, kind of love it, but really unexpected. So let's see who Morgan is going to pair it up with. I think that Morgan is potentially the last final occult on this wheel. Oh my gosh, Morgan and Nancy. That is, that is a lot. It did just start off with a girl, so I'm more than happy to keep it. So let's round mine three times. One. Ooh, a spellcaster. Two. No spellcaster. And... Three. Oh, okay, this one actually is a spellcaster. Well, I mean, the hair and the eye situation isn't that mysterious, is it? Because we know that this one would be blonde and have green eyes, but let's turn her around and take a little look. And... Oh, this is just like a cuter version of Nancy with like bigger eyes. I'm really pleased with that, not gonna lie. That's so cute. So what are we thinking for the vibe for this one? And she has like long cheese hair. Okay, fine, whatever. Let's do um, the little makeover bit. But what are we thinking? for this one. I kind of think that I want to have her be like basically Nancy but spellcaster vibe. So it's kind of like Yassified Nancy with a bit of magic in there. Or maybe it would be a little bit more fun to just go full in like spellcaster and just like throw in a bit of Nancy Nancy essence in there. I think that maybe that would actually be a bit better. I am worried about the eye situation because they are quite large aren't they? Maybe I shouldn't be Yassifying her this much. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe let's give her a softer skin so we can kind of like get over the eye situation a bit better. I mean, not much is helping. She's cute. It's just not my style. So I don't really know what to do with it. But other than that, she's cute. She actually looks like really cute, but she did age up with quite angry eyebrows and we kind of did lose that. So I'm just going to making them like a little bit angled down and let's pick a hair for you. And she did age up with this like really intensely yellow hair, which I'm not really a huge fan of. So I think I might change it, but maybe I'll make it like kind of like an in-between. And I am feeling kind of just long straight hair for her but she did have a bit of a wave to her if I remember correctly so even something like this could go but I don't really like it for the style. Oh well this is quite glam and pretty I think I'll go for it and then we can do some makeup and stuff which I guess that we can do like a bit more interesting and fun because she is a spellcaster. You know what she can just get like a normal eyeliner because she's kind of scaring me her eyes are really really big but let me give you just like a bit of lip gloss which maybe should be like we should go kind of heavy with the lip gloss. Let's make her like a little spellcaster Barbie. I think that that's kind of the vibe because Nancy is like a failed middle-aged Barbie, but this one can live her dream. So we can go in that direction and make her like a little pink pretty because she does like look really doll-like, doesn't she? But still, I want to give her that spellcaster energy, which is really unfortunate because I don't really have any like other ones except this one. So we might have to like redo it, which is a little annoying. I did say spellcaster Barbie, but maybe something a little bit more fun. I think that potentially Potentially she could actually use this dress that I did suggest in the first one, but it really does actually work for her. I do need to work on actually including some more spellcaster bits though, because it is getting a little bit lost, which I don't really want to do. Oh no, I was gonna give her this hat, which would have been perfect, but it doesn't work with the hair. I think I might have to change the hair then. Okay, it's still really similar, but I feel like this is kind of, I mean, it's looking a little odd together, not gonna lie, but I feel like we're kind of onto something. Thing. Well, as much as I'm trying to find something different, I am still really leaning to the first dress, but I do want to try something different. I'm just worried that it doesn't quite match, but it's kind of iconic at the same time. I am kind of obsessed.
obsessed, so I think I will keep it. And maybe we can balance it out with some more gold jewelry, potentially. Like, you can't tell me that this doesn't look absolutely stunning. So let's give you a name. Oh, Trinity fits her quite nicely. And she would definitely get this spellcraft and sorcery aspiration. Maybe she'd be a bit self-absorbed, just like Nancy would be. Again, a bit of a, a cult enthusiast. And maybe hive maintenance? I feel like she is basically a mini Nancy, but with some monumental things coming from Morgan, like the spellcaster side of her. But I think that she is finished and she is such a beautiful witchy Barbie. So let's get our final couple for today. The wheel is getting smaller and smaller, but we are left with some just like normal sims. So whatever we get is going to be interesting, but definitely not a cult this time. So let's see what the final one is. And the first sim is going to be, oh, it's going to be Dawn. Okay, interesting. So let's see who is going to be having a baby with Dawn. It is oh, going to be Dawn again. Why does this happen all the time? Second attempt. Let's see what's going to be happening this time. Oh, it's gonna be Nina. This one also spawned as a daughter first, so I'll keep it. I kind of got lucky there. I was thinking about making this one a male sim, but you know what? No, I will not. So let's randomize three times. One, two, and three. Oh, I feel like this one could potentially be a mini Dawn. Let's age her up and see what we're working with. I kind of love her outfit and oh, she's so pretty. I'm really excited for this one. Okay, let's get rid of the hair, but it's kind of like medium length black hair. And you have kind of like stronger eyebrows, so I'll try to keep those. Kind of like hazel-ish eyes. And now for the skin details. Again, I just want to like yassify her. And she does kind of suit it, honestly. She does suit it. She actually is kind of pretty with that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying this softer skin on her, but I think I kind of want to go for this. It does kind of like lose her nose. I'll see if I can maybe contour it somehow. I can kind of give her her nose back, so that's a plus. And she would maybe have a bit more blush because she'd be living in Oasis Springs, which is always sunny so this kind of makes sense that she'd have more color now let's pick the hair i'll make it like normal black not this icky blue black she had something like this lengthwise but maybe for the style oh i like what this is doing it's kind of covering up the eye situation that i'm not too happy with this one is really pretty on her though i don't even want to look i know that this is, this is a little bit different than i was looking for but this is like so beautiful on her i really want to keep it she does look a bit like a fish doesn't she it's it's just it's kind of hard to get over if her eyes were just like a bit closer and her mouth was a little bit smaller she would have been real real good right now i just have some concerns but okay let's give her some makeup i'm gonna keep that relatively simple and i do want to like chisel out her face just a bit and maybe try to give you some more like red-ish lipstick i kind of want to dress her more i don't know flirty but appropriate for hot weather so let's dress you in something oasis springsy wait why is this giving Bella Goth? Why? I'm a little confused here. Oh, this is really pretty. I don't know why, but this kind of just has Oasis Springs vibes. And I think I want to give her maybe like a either denim shorts, maybe not really, or maybe like a denim skirt. Mm, I'm not really feeling it. Kind of want to give her like really strong nails. I feel like she would have a very like extroverted sort of style and very bold choices. I mean, I say that when she's dressed in a very basic outfit, but you probably get what I mean. But right now I kind of want to keep it light just because she wants to be like ready to just be chilling in the sun. For some reason, I just want to give her a tattoo. I can't really explain why, but I just feel like a tattoo would be really nice on her. Okay, this one. So she is finished as well. Let's give her, well, first the name. What's her name going to be? Aisha. Okay, that kind of fits her. Let's make you a party animal. I feel like she definitely would be. So I'll give her the same trait as well. And I mean, she does have Lothario blood in her. She definitely has to be romantic, but maybe she likes gossip a bit too much so i'm gonna make her nosy and that is aisha all finished as well so let's do a little recap of what we did today so this is a combination of el faba and Ghidri. i think that i absolutely adore her she's just so soft and beautiful and magical then we have our spellcaster barbie combination of nancy and morgan and now our ultimate caliente from nina and dawn so let me know which one was your favorite and do you think if i it did a good job. The combinations for this one were quite out there, so I'm just feeling a little confused, but hopefully everything was as you would imagine it to be. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos like this. I absolutely love doing challenges with Townies, so you will definitely be seeing more of this. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!